Hey guys, Final Kimpach here. Welcome to another Rage Shadow Legends video. In this video, we are going to take a look Hydra Rebalance version and the uh, Akada buff version. Hydra is way tougher now. Uh, I want to try my horse actually, guys, on the Hydra, so I'm super excited. I finally got the Marius missions are finally over after a very, very long grind. He's mine, and I want to see his Hydra performance. And the uh, we are also going to check uh, how these changes going to affect my team in overall. Obviously, Marius is the, I guess, improvement for my old team. Speaking of that, let me show you my old team. That was my old team, guys, on the Nightmare difficulty. And my previous PB, close to 800 million, guys. This is the Clash Multiplier, so it was close to 800 million. We are going to use the Padrate. We are going to use the uh, Michinagi, Sufrion. Rotolo is going to replace with the Marius, Archer Girl, and the Wukong. By the way, they have not nothing changed on them. Just Sufrion got a 3 star, not a big deal. He have a blessing for the arena. Rest of them is exactly the same, guys. Michinag is still 3 star. Archer Girl still 3 star. But before we jump to the video, let me guys show you guys they are built. Let's start with the Marius, why not? And the Marius state are for the Hydra multiplier included. Arena bonuses looks like that. Here's a book. He have a lightning cage. This is uh, for the Hydra wise useless. Uh, but if you want to use a more PV content than PVP, then my blessing choose will be cruelty guys. If you have a under six star, if you have a six star, you definitely go into creation ramp. And uh, this is the his master. It looks like. Let's jump to the next champion and Michinagi. Let's continue. On the DPS wise, Michinagi obviously main job is not DPS, but still he can deal some damage. This is the Michinagi, uh, how to say that stat. Have enough accuracy, we need the 410 accuracy for the nightmare difficulty. Savage gear, his book, he have a cruelty, guys. I give this champion blessing long ago before they released the Harmony 3, but uh, if you Got your Michinag recently and his soul definitely go for nature rat if he's under six star guys. Okay. Six star, same rule, guys. We are going crash and rant. But if under six star, definitely uh nature rat, guys. Alright, right there. And then this is the his masteries. Next champion, Archer Girl. Archer Girl, similar build like Michinagi, guys. She only has savage gear. Uh, she's a little bit faster than Michinagi because her debuff are very very awesome, right? She have a hex debuff, she have a provoke debuff, decrease speed debuff, she have a lot of stuff, she's a great champion. And her skill, same rule here guys, nature of rat if under 6 star, if not, uh, if 6 star I mean, crash and rant, like I said, uh, changing them is going to cost me 300 gems, so I'm not doing it at the moment, I need my gem, and uh, this is the her Masteries. I believe that's all the no, we miss one more DPS, which is the Wukong. So Wukong also DPS. Uh, Wukong build is almost nine piece merciless, guys. Here's the thing: he normally have a nine piece merciless for the arena wise, but for the hydra wise, because he's casting a block buff debuff, which is very, very important for this comp. I basically don't have a merciless banner who have a accuracy. Uh, so because of that, I have to give him random banner guys with the accuracy main stat. But he's still doing well. But nine piece definitely gonna be noticeable difference, especially Hydra. Uh, going to be nice. Not gonna lie, but we cannot do it at the moment. He have enough accuracy as you guys see, 410. And uh, Soul Reap. Uh, he doesn't need it. You guys can also. I mean Soul Reap. I'm using it for the arena. I'm enjoying actually Soul Reap. Not gonna lie. He's only four star, but still. Uh, for the Hydra wise, the Blessing, you can use him if you have a 6 star, definitely creation rat guys. If under 6 star, same rule, nature rat. Because he have a debuff, right? And uh, this is the his masteries. Next champion for this comp, let's go to the Padraid. Padraid have a 9 piece protection. And this is the his stat, looks like. He doesn't need accuracy or the resist, to be honest, guys. Resist is actually not a bad idea. Would be nice because Vrat is provoking us. Can be dangerous a little bit. 
if you can go for resistance. And uh, his book, even Phantom Touch, I'm using him on my Fahrenheit Heart 10 team. Phantom Touch a little bit better on this perspective. But if you're not worrying about that content, definitely go for the Cruelty Blessing on him. I cannot find it. There we go. Cruelty probably will be better for the Hydra wise. This is the, his master it looks like. And I believe the last champion, which is the star of the show, Sufrion. I am so happy about Sufrion, guys. I have actually very amazing build. Uh, we have a reflex four piece, impulse two piece. As you guys know, 40% chance to reduce cooldown. Reflex can be replaceable by merciless four piece as well. Keep that on your mind. Impulse also give us 12% chance and three refresh accessory, which is each of them 5%. So total 15%. Uh, decrease cooldown coming from the accessories. He's pretty much getting his cooldown every time he got a turn. Guys. So let's say we use the A2 skill, right? Which is the amazing skill, especially after Hydra got a buff. You know, there's a high chance you can uh, bring them back by dealing damage on them. And your skill need to be ready, guys. I'm also using similar build on my Ugo. I highly recommend it. Don't sleep on the Reflex Impulse Refresh gear. Or the merciless four piece that's going to be lifesaver because you cannot save your cooldown anymore because they are gonna come back to life quickly, especially on the hard difficulty, guys. Okay, you have an instant carnet blessing. This is uh, useless for the hydra wise, but arena wise, it's uh, the reason I'm using. I actually not sure which blessing you guys can use him on the hydra wise. Let me know, please, if you guys have an idea, can help to the people who mainly want to use the sulfion on the hydra. And this is the his masteries looks like. I believe we show the every single champion. Let me control real quickly. Like I said, we are going to take a look. Hydra nightmare difficulty, guys, with this team. Yes, looks great. All right. Uh, before we jump to the run, uh, if you guys like my content, uh, please uh, like this video and uh, sub my YouTube channel. That can help a lot to grow. Let's see the whole new Hydra looks like now. Let's go. This team is, uh, I actually did a quick run with this team, with the full auto, and they did a good job. This team super full auto friendly, guys, but I'm gonna try like manual this time. Maybe we can increase our damage, you know. There is no uh, decay head, so I'm gonna cast the decrease speed on them, block buff, obviously. So, Marius time, I mean... I'm gonna save this skill because it's give extra turn so we can reduce our cooldown. Let's go to A2 skill. There we go. This rotation is quite a bad because fear hit on the field, but what can we do, right? Maybe we should save the pad rate uh, cleans. Yeah, maybe we should save that. It's alright, not a big deal. I'm gonna try fear broke. Of course it's broke. It's always broke. I never say fear is not broken before. Alright, burn them again. Amazing. Which now still have a v fear, okay. We got to attack twice, so we got to provoke. We are gonna wait a little bit. Oh, hold on, Padre looks like resist that. That's great. Perfect cleanse timing actually. Now let's use this one. A1 skill. Let's replace their block buff. My previous damage with this team, guys, before the Hydra got rebalance, was close to 800 million with the Ratulos instead of the Marius on the position. But obviously, we have a less turn meter now, turn limit now. It's going to be noticeable. Instead of the 1500 turn, we have a 1000 turn now, so. Big cleanse there. Alright, final nuke. Man, Marius damage is awesome actually, guys, not gonna lie. His damage is fantastic. He just did that, we thought uh, they are under the crystal defense, by the way, that was so cool. Alright, fear head, hopefully you are not coming back. Nobody like you, especially me. Maybe I should save this sickle for the potential decay head, but 
well all right we killed all of them so this is one of the everybody hating it right so when you kill all of them there's a high chance all of them is coming back with the serpent wheel protected buff it's very annoying Hilarium also said they are going to consider to rework on the hydra by taking the feedback so if you guys not happy about the changes feel free to uh, use their discord channel or their social media feel free to try to reach them or feel free to try to reach content creator uh, we can help you guys reach the polarium okay so 21 million i make sure crew is like they don't have a defense done again but let's see wow 10 million guys <laughs> with no defense on that's we take it you know that was awesome all right let's go that we've been saving our skill unfortunately fear is back look fear head doesn't have a serpent wheel because two of them come back together but all if all of them is come back together that's a little bit dangerous i'm gonna delay my deck respect debuff i'm gonna wait for the rest of them We were 30 million already, that's awesome. Poison Cloud here, it's alright. Poison Cloud is not a problem if we have a Sufri on chat. He can place a HP burn debuff even they are under Poison Cloud buff, so that's awesome. I'm gonna try. Here is say no, no again. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. Marus have a to read now. Yeah, we are going to delay, unfortunately. All right, defense down on that. Maybe it's a good sign, right? We have a cleanse. I say my cleanse. Look above. So we are going to provoke this one now. She's actually strong of it right now, so Archer Girl can be a little bit struggle. Thankfully, it wasn't weak attack, so let's go. There is nobody have a protection, guys. They have a defense down, no weaken by the way. But let's see. We have a turn 40 million. Let's say 40 million. Uh 2 million, not bad. Let's wait a little bit more, but any max HP limit. I'm actually not sure he's hitting any max HP limit, but yep. Yeah. Good news is fear hit is about to dead. <clears throat> this should be finish him. There we go. Let's go decrease speed on them. Fantastic. And let's continue. <clears throat> we are going to save this provoke because he still didn't get a turn yet. Burn. <clears throat> we can do early attack without worrying about fear. Alright, this extra turn we are going to use it to bring A to skill back live. By the way, um, forget to mention that, but if you guys have a Slayer set, you guys can also build Marius on the Slayer set. Definitely way better, especially for the Hydra guys. But if you don't spend money on the game, you are not getting Slayer set, so... My free slayer set is not enough, let's say like that. <clears throat> so far so good by the way guys. I really don't see noticeable difference from my previous performance. Especially for this team. This team is pretty good, do not gonna lie. But there is a no noticeable difference at the moment. Obviously, better ranger can be open to any one of us. There's nothing we can do about it. But so far, so good. My heart team probably will be get a noticeable effect from these changes. Because heart team doesn't have a reviver and they are there is a Thor, you know. Thor hitting quite hard, guys, so... 
when we kill them, there is a high chance Thor will bring them back just one skill. Because this HP bar, when you dissipated them, there is a noticeable difference, guys, on the Nightmare and the Heart team. Especially, I mean, if you use using normal as well, like, there is going to be also a noticeable difference. But Nightmare, the bar is very thick. So it's not that easy to bring them back. Like, I'm going to use my Marius right now. See? Marius, three times in a max HP hit, did like what? 20%, 25% damage. So you guys probably understand what I mean. But on the hard difficulty, when the difficulty getting lower, this HP bar is getting lower as well because it's a scale of their base HP, right? Because lower difficulty has a low base HP. Higher difficulty has a high base HP. So very simple. Let's cleanse. A3 so we can get extra turn, ready to cooldown. We're in the 69 million so far. Pretty awesome. Please don't fear. Oh my god. It's a fear again. <laughs> Alright. Both of them is a serpent wheel. Looks like HP burn. Still dealing damage under serpent wheel by the way chat. Yep. You can still deal damage on them, uh, even Serpent will. It's very small, but yeah. Alright, at least for is gone. We got a block buff on them. Very cool. Let's cleanse. Defense done. Beautiful. Oh, he eat his. This is the first time they eat us, right? So, this the other changes they made it. When they eat you, uh, the bar, green bar, is a little bit thicker. Actually, this is how was Hydra back in the day. So, they basically revert the buff. I mean, they nerfed the Hydra first and they buff it again. I really don't get this logic, but yeah. Alright, there we go. We bring our monkey back. Okay, let's try A3. Oh, thankfully this time didn't proc. Oh, nice damage, man. We're in the 80 million. We have a fear. I'm gonna delay that skill, not worth it. We can cast HP burn. We can cast the block buff. We can cast the X. And we are gonna cleanse, perfect. Decrease speed, there we go. Decrease defense. It's a, oh, it's a this one. Decay arrive. Can we kill the fear? Come on, soul reap. Oh, yes, all right. Because she was under fear debuff. Alright, no weak attack, we take it. That's amazing actually. Let's go. Let's deal some damage while the fear is gone. Alright, A3, extra turn. Well, Let's finish him. Don't be fear. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we hit the 100 million guys in the 40 turn, 12 minutes.
Nice, no V attack again. That's awesome. Oh, the one is come back. Here is come back. He's always come back. This rotation is actually bad for us. Damn, DK just got melted there. Vrat is here, alright. Ah man, A2 is ready, but we cannot use it. We have to delete. I'm not gonna risk it. So we are gonna use this cleanse now. Marius doesn't have a fear. Actually, A2 wasn't gonna do anything, right? Because two of them was have a serpent will buff through. Okay, on the uh, it, we can use it now. That's actually noticeable damage on the fear head. I'm actually gonna work on him. I know getting fear is not good idea by attacking a champion on him, but I really wanna let him go. Man, fear is broken 100%. Unbelievable. Okay, that was a big, big mistake. Because... We didn't get a bullock buff on him. Can we cleanse it, get a turn? I hope Wukong thank, thank you. Alright. Wukong still the increased attack buff and replace it with the bullock buff. That was lifesaver actually. Otherwise, we're not gonna hit really hard yet. Alright, let's custom decrease speed. They are a little bit fast. Alright, didn't proc. Let's go. Fear head bye bye one more time. Not yet yet. Okay. He's saying no. Maybe not. Nope. Come on, man. This should be enough. Alright. Alright. Fear rate is going one more time. Let's work on the mischief now. Alright guys, we are 15 minutes into the fight. I'm gonna speed up the rest of the part. Uh, I'm gonna close my camera as well. Catch you guys end of the fight.
Hey guys, we almost reached the turn limit and uh, I don't know you guys noticed it but it wasn't that hard actually whenever we reached the 900 turn limit I see the when they eat us the green bar you know it was super thick but before the 9900 turn my bet uh, it wasn't that thick if I'm not mistaken so is it difficult wise yes or damage is significantly uh, lower than the my previous PB was Close to 800 million, right? With the Ratolos on it, uh, now we have a Marius. I guess all we agree Marius is better than Ratolos, right? But turn, uh, turn limit also got reduction, so we are not able to go to continue this run 1500 turn, which is my previous PB was 1500 turn. Maybe we can still reach close to my previous PB if they let us to do 1500 turn, or maybe we are gonna die quickly after that, right? So hard to be judged. But let me finish this fight real quickly, then we can take a look. Yeah, difficult wise, I can clearly tell one thing, guys. My team didn't get affected from this balance update. It's still solid team, but can't say the same thing about my uh, heart difficulty. Heart difficulty probably going to be a little bit tough. But thanks to the Sufrion is actually make uh, Hydro super super easy guys. Not going to lie. Like especially my build right now. 3x uh, refresh accessories, reflex gear, at the same time impulse. He's getting his cooldown reduction pretty much all the time as you guys notice. Right, I'm literally a uh, little bit rushing right now guys. Trying to do my last damage while I can. Obviously Sufrion also will revive. We didn't need it on this game, I mean on this time, but sometimes we got unlucky, especially when I run this team full auto guys, AI is stupid, you guys know that, and uh, yeah, Sufrion revive can be lifesaver actually, otherwise champion gonna stay dead, like even my monkey didn't die if I'm not mistaken. I did this run full auto by the way, uh, yesterday, and uh, I reached the turn limit with no problem again on the full auto, but my damage was 400 million guys, alright? This was the full auto. Now I did the full manual and this is our performance. Almost 500 million. But looks like we are not able to reach that number. Because it's going to be over very very soon. Alright. 1000 turn. 50 minute. Horse. New Hydra team. Let me show you guys my previous PB again. It's a previous PB was 1500 turn as you guys see it's a 2.9 billion but this is the Hydra Clash multiplier included so that was close to 800 million guys and now let me show you my damage Force did 226 million, Padre 1.5, Sufrion 38 million all this HP burn only give us 38 million guys Michirag 67, Archer Girl 71 and Sun Wukong 69 which is nice let me know what you guys thinking about these changes in general. Yes, my damage got lower, but everybody damage got lower. I'm to be honest happy this team performance on nightmare difficulty. But I'm gonna test my heart team and let you guys know what about uh, them. Heart team, like I said, going to be a little bit difficult. Thank you so much for the watching. As always, catch you guys on the next time. Bye bye.